Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. This is a quick OTB moment. Uh, just rambling. If you remember, I just thought I'd bring this up real quick so you can see. Remember my 2x4 here? Where I took and I put four T-nuts in here and I put four T-nuts on this side and put a piece of wood over it to make it into generic knobs, wood knobs? Well, I needed a couple, so I thought I'd show you the evolution of what I did. This has been sitting there just like this with that piece still on there. And I figured out I need two wing nuts that were no taller that had to be shorter than a full inch here. So the height had to be less than an inch. This is 13 sixteenths. I cut it off the table saw just like that. And then I cut two pieces off of this. And I made two quick little knobs that I use on my finger joint jig. So I thought I'd show you, that, and it was pretty simple and easy to, to turn these out. Uh, and then I just dumped them in bur um, boiled linseed oil to put a little bit of a finish on them. And they didn't turn out too bad. They're definitely shop made. That's what I love about these sort of things. And this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is a lot more fun than just buying them out there. So you can buy these things. Actually, you can buy these things for about a dollar a piece, these small ones like this. But where's the fun in that? So anyway, I'm going to make two more pretty close to this because I need two more about that same size. And so I'll have four of them. <clears throat> so now I'm going to say, what am I going to do with this? This is where the OTB thing comes in. If you take a look, you can see I still got my divider lines here. There's four pieces here. When I cut it on those lines, then I'll have these four blocks. The T-nut is on this top part. So what I'm thinking is, what can you do with those? So one thing I could take, it's going to be so big, I could actually take this, one of these, and make it into like a finial or do a hand carving. If you do carving, you very easily could turn this into like a, um, what do they call those? Uh, the wind, um, that face, the old man's face with the beard and everything, the wind spirit, I think they call them. You could carve a wind spirit into there, you know, or you could take and put this thing on a lathe between centers on here and turn this out. I, one of the shapes I thought about, it, I mean, you can make almost any shape if you can put this on a lathe, but I was thinking that would make a kind of a nice little mushroom shape to that. That would make a cool little mushroom, would make a very cool knob. So maybe if you're into making mushrooms, if you've ever done that on the lathe, I don't do much turning. So I don't think I'll do these on the lathe, lathe, but I might. But I can make four knobs now on the lathe out of this, what's left, as soon as I decide what I'm going to do with them. So that's what I love about making generic wood knobs. Until I need them, these were all ready to go now. So all I had to do was chop two of them off and grind them down. In less than a half hour, I had the two knobs I needed. <clears throat> And it was a lot of fun, a quick little project. So I thought I'd show you that when I talk about making these things generically so that you could uh, just set them up in your hardware, just like I do with the hinges. I have quite a few hinges I don't know what I'm going to do with, but they'll come in handy someday. So, uh, but I think these things, these little block, generic blocks, are really great and handy to keep in the shop and make them up ahead of time. So that you can do all sorts of things with them later on as you need it. So, anyway, I wanted to show this to you real quick. Uh, this is a real quick video. So, um, if you have any questions or comments about this, or if you made some knobs since you looked at it, uh, I would love to have somebody take something like this and actually make a little mushroom knob, somebody that can actually turn, because I can't. That would be very cool. Send me some pictures. They would, they would make such cool knobs, I think, making little mushroom shapes. So, just a thought. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any thoughts. Oh, one more quick thing. Also, um, I've been looking at my little holster here of my uh, heat gun. This actually, I've, I've used this thing for years and years because I can turn this thing to face it another direction so I can use it hands-free. It's a quick little holster so I can take it in and out to use and then I can put it back when it's sitting while it turns off because it runs for about 20 to 30 seconds after you shut it off. So it has to cool down before the blower stops. 
So you got to let this thing set somewhere and blow that hot air out till it cools off. So this little holster has worked out nicely, and it's nice that I can take and turn it to many different any angle I want. But I'm going to take and attach this right over here to my electric my cabinet because this is where I do all my electrical work. This would be really nice to have around for doing some of that PVC pipe heating and shaping, and also uh, this thing would be handy to use if I'm doing some heat shrinking. So I'm going to keep this close over here and plug it in. My thought was, I'd like to redesign this holster, I think, but I don't know how to do it. I really like the fact that it goes in, but I'd like to make it a little nicer to go into somewhere. And I don't know if I should just make something out of wood or... So I thought I'd ask you guys, see what you think about what we'd be doing. I would love to do something that would be really OTB. So uh, keep it in mind, if you have any suggestions about this, I am definitely looking for some inspiration of... How to turn this thing into something a little bit nicer since I'm going to attach it right over here and I'm going to be looking at it all the time now. So if you think of something, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I think that's about it. Um, just wanted to show this to you really. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do read them all. If you learned something here, you like this video, um, just hit that like button. It lets me know that I did something the right way. Most importantly, though, please come back again because hmm, I'm nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you guys again very soon.